Line handling is a very important skill for the sailor. If a line should get tangled, it could become very dangerous in an emergency. In addition to making sure that the lines don't get tangled, we also want to make sure that the lines are attached securely to the boat. We don't want them falling on the deck or even worse, falling into the water and dragging behind the boat. Of course, we also want our stored lines to look neat and tidy and as professional as possible. Last, and perhaps most importantly, we need to be able to quickly and easily remove the lines from storage when needed. We'll start with the main halyard because we've just finished raising the sail. You coil up the line carefully, leaving a little bit of extra line at the very beginning from the mast. Now you reach through the coil, grabbing that excess line, and then you can just wrap it around through as you're seeing me do and hook it on a cleat. When it's time to lower the sails, simply unhook the little loop from the cleat and set the coil of line on the deck and the sail will come down quite easily. When we unfurl the Genoa or jib, we can end up with a lot of jib sheet or Genoa sheets in the cockpit, which can be very dangerous. We want to stow them carefully so they don't get tangled. To keep the line from twisting and turning and becoming tangled, we make a figure eight. As you can see, I have my hand for one end and the winch for the other, and I go back and forth, and this works very nicely so you can stow the line safely. When sailing is done and you're headed back to the slip, you can coil up the main sheet very easily and then make a few wraps around the middle and then make a little loop which you stick through and then fold up and around and over and then cinch it up tight. You can also use this technique for dock lines that you're carrying on the boat. My last tip may be a little controversial. If you are only going out for a day sail, you might want to consider leaving the lines attached to the dock. Not all slips will allow you to do this. If you have pilings, it may be impossible. However, if you do have walkways, you will find that this is an extremely fast way to get in and out of the slip, as you don't have to measure the dock lines when you retie them every time you come back. I find this system extremely convenient. It puts the boat exactly in the same place every time I return. Of course, it's very important that you put chafe guards on all of your dock lines and inspect them regularly. So what do you think? Is this a good idea or not? Please leave me a comment down below and let me and everyone else know what you think. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and tell a friend. Thank you.